What's up guys welcome back to the channel today as you guys can see I'm gonna be working on the Civic tons of things to get done and today what I'm gonna be doing is installing my FCS rear trailing arms let's get started with today's video so I can explain exactly the difference between those and OEM and also show you how to install them my car as you guys see it's pretty much sitting the same way last week when I came we installed the engine and trans all that is in the car right now and then over here I've already removed the OEM trailing arm and I have it here on the ground with the FCS rear trailing arm look at this guys this is a huge huge difference not only is this weight reduction but this also improves your 60 foot time these things are so light we've got the rear brakes and everything absolutely beautiful fcs did a great job designing this check that out so nice compared to oem this is super heavy and this is extremely light so now that i got the oem trailing arm off i'm gonna go ahead and install the fcs honestly this is a very simple install i already took one of them off obviously as you guys can see when i do the driver side i'll kind of show you guys exactly what needs to be done super super simple you just got to remove the brake lines and then once the brake lines are removed you have two 17s two 14s one 19 millimeter bolt and this whole entire assembly comes off very simple so to begin you want to start by removing the bolt that connects to the lower control arm this bolt is a 14 millimeter and then from there you want to take off the bolts that connect the upper control arms and once you have that out you'll take this main bolt out right here next to the bushing on each side so when you're removing these two bolts they're 17 millimeters you want to be careful because this is going to remove the entire assembly so be sure to have someone here to help you to hold on to it or really just not work as high you can have the car lowered to the ground so when it drops you do not get hit so definitely be careful with that so I went ahead and I removed the bolt that connects the lower control arm next I'm gonna do the upper and then I'll go ahead and remove the one that's connected to the bushing in the back Here I have the FCS trailing arm here along with all of the brackets and stuff that I'm going to be needing for this. This is all included in the kit itself. This bracket is also included in the kit and what this bracket is for it replaces where it mounts up onto the OEM trailing arm. So where the compliance bushing mounts this is what replaces it. So we're going to put this going forward like that. And the cool thing about this kit is that it's completely adjustable to your preference. So um, we're going to mount it up and try to get the wheels as straight as we can now. But obviously when we go and get an alignment, they're going to make some adjustments on here. So once you put these on here with the two 17 millimeters, you have this, which will go in there. And then this goes into the trailing arm itself in the end. So let's go ahead and get this mounted on so you guys can see. All right, so here we have the bracket. You can put it either way. It's completely, again, up to your preference. I'm going to put it facing forward. I'm going to go ahead and walk the bolts in so that way we avoid stripping them. And then from there, you can go ahead and tighten it if you're done. I do want to mention when installing this is you have two ends so people tend to get confused on which end you need to put inside the trailing arm and which end goes onto the plate that was provided so what you want to do is make sure that the one that has the adjustable nut is the one that goes inside of the trailing arm and that is so that you're able to move the arm back and forth so here we have the upper rear control arm which is also supplied this is going to be a half inch that you want to tighten it with So 
So after that, everything is pretty much self-explainable. You're just going to bolt everything back up how it belongs. You got your two 14s that go here, and you have your one that goes through the lower control arm. And then, again, this is fully customizable, however you want your car to be. I'm putting mine on the top one. That way, the wheel isn't as close to the back bumper. Having it on the first one up here makes it a little bit farther. So all of this will get readjusted again when the car gets aligned. So none of this is 100% permanent. I'm gonna go ahead and tighten everything up and that's pretty much it for the install. I can put the wheel back on and uh, show you guys the final look. Got these bolts over here tightened up. We've got the one that goes to the lower control arm tightened. And right now I'm working on this one. So one quick note I do wanna mention is when you're installing these, you wanna make sure that you keep this loose. That way you're able to play around and adjust it. And the same goes for these bolts. If you tighten these all the way up and have this tightened, it's really hard when you're trying to adjust and make things fit. So all that's left now is to add the nut that goes on the bottom, tighten that up, and um, we should be good to go. the wheel back on as you guys can see is spinning freely so actually a pretty easy install hopefully this video helps some of you guys out but it's pretty much simple once you remove the OEM trailing arms it's crazy to see how big this is and how much of a weight difference this is so again just so you guys know the whole purpose of this is obviously to save weight and also improve your 60 foot um, these trailing arms have been proven to do that. I'll leave the link to their website and Instagram in the description below. This was uh, pretty fun to do. Now I know how to do it. If I have to do it again, super, super easy. All that's left now is I have to connect these brake lines, but I don't have the bolt that goes into here. It's different from the OEM bolt. Excuse my glove. So, <laughs> but yeah, that's all that's pretty much left. So let me show this one. So once I get the proper bolt, this is gonna go on to here. You're gonna remove that red cap and this is where this line goes. Other than that, this is pretty much it for the install. Super nice, really high quality. Love it. All right guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this simple install. Really wasn't too bad. If you guys have any questions, be sure to comment below. Um, again, a lot of this stuff will be readjusted once i take it to get the car aligned because all that has to do with the camber the toe all of that stuff's going to get adjusted with the car once it's complete and ready to get aligned bro i look like a mess yo i look rough as hell i look like i just oh, yeah. look like a 12 year old i was playing in a playground <laughs> huge shout out to fcs race for being a part of the build super excited to run their trailing arms and i can't wait to show you guys just how they improve the 60 foot they have tons of stuff and information on their page if you're more curious and want to know more about the company and these trailing arms so check them out i'll leave the link in the description below i'm wrapping it up today i'm going to come back next week and we're going to get some more work done so be on the lookout for the next video